Hi, I'm Kate McCauley from Pattern Emporium. Welcome to another episode of What's in the Pattern. In this episode, we are talking about the new cami called the Hugs and Kisses cami. If you've not seen one of our What's in the Pattern videos before, basically I make up a whole lot of samples in lots of different fabrics to show you the features, the options, and the different elements in that particular pattern. Now, this may look like an ordinary cami to you, but on the inside, it's chock full of options so that you can select your favorite finish and who knows, you may even find yourself going braless and loving it. In summer, they are light and easy and breezy and an option that can go with so many different bottoms for so many different occasions. And in winter, they are an awesome layering option. I feel the cold. I just need that extra close fitting layer next to my skin to feel warm. So whether you are sewing for winter or for summer, take a look at the Hugs and Kisses cami. Now the silhouette is fitted. It is our most fitted silhouette in all of our patterns. And if you need to multi-size, I show you how to do that in the pattern. You get a rounded front neckline and you can finish that with a wide binding, a wide band or a narrow binding. You get a high or a low back. You can make it in single layer, double layer with a lining or with a shelf bra. And the shelf bra can be made in self fabric or for a little extra support you could make it in athletic knit. Or for even more support you could use a power mesh or a power net. And the power net is the denser of the two so that will give you even more support. And on top of that, better still, you can double layer. So for instance, you could put athletic knit with the power mesh or the power net and you would get more support. Now adding to that support is the elastic in the shelf bra. You can use a narrow soft elastic. You could use some lace if you wanted to, if you didn't need this support under here. But for more support, you would put a wider elastic so you could put a one inch or a one and a half inch elastic under the bust in a lovely soft elastic like the plush elastic from Boo Designs. Both the high back and the low back have their own shelf bra so with the high back you can wear a bra but with the low back you can't wear a bra without seeing it at the back so the added shelf bra is an awesome option. The finishes around the body around here, around the back and the armhole. You can use binding or you can use fold over elastic. Now for the straps, there are different options depending on your fabric and depending on what you have in your stash or how much support you want. In the straps themselves, you can use Laston, so that frosted clear elastic. You can use swim elastic. Um, that is the clear one that is lo a lot thicker and it stretches a little bit but not a great deal. Or you can use just normal elastic. Don't use knitted elastic. Now knitted elastic is the one that when you stretch it, it narrows. You don't want that one because as you sew it, it will just stretch. And you want it to give your straps some resilience and some hold. And each of those will give you a different level of support. So the elastin gives you the lightest support and the plain elastic gives you the most support. Then lastly we have the add-on wide strap. So the add-on wide strap has um, two rows of the elastic um, and it sits a little bit wider and it has elastic on both sides. So I can show you here this one. It has elastic on this side and this side and it just gives that little bit more width and you add it just with a little ring, doesn't need a slider or anything, just with a little ring at the front. And in, in the group, I will do my usual collage of the fabrics and the trims that I used so that you know where I got each of those different elements. There are three lengths. There is a cropped length, which sits below the waist, but above the hips. Then there is the hip length, and then there is a longer length. And if you wanted to make it longer or shorter, you would just use the adjustment lines to add and subtract as you need. So 
let's get started and have a look at some of these camis. How about a summer date night option with a little bit of luxury? This is um, a velvet from Boo. I've done the low back, crossed the straps over, and it is just so lovely and soft. I've done the band across the front, so it's just that little bit wider than a binding. Teamed it with the Heartlight skirt and an awesome, relaxed, fabulous little date night outfit. And on this one, I've just used the Laston in the straps. Now, because the cropped version doesn't sit at the waist, it sits below the waist, it's an awesome option to wear with those garments that go to the waist. So Heartlight skirt, Starlight skirt, um, the pleats to meet you pants, they go right up to the waist. And so your waistband is still covered. And this really cute little outfit. Anyone want to go to the beach? Isn't this just the cutest thing? So this is the sachet shorts with the narrow yoga waistband. So it's just, you can put elastic in this um, for a little bit more firmness if you want to. And then this is the cropped version of the cami. I have lined the front, but not the back. And I show you how to do that and keep that side seam hidden. Just look in the get creative section up the back. Um, I've done binding all the way around. I used swim elastic in the straps. So that's the thicker, the clear one centimeter swim elastic. I figured that if I was jumping waves or jumping in the pool, that would sort of help my top from falling down. Um, you can add a shelf bra if you want to. Um, you could do that in power mesh, you could do that in swim fabric. Um, and then you can see I've done the binding all the way around. And then the high back. <laughs> and I've just set the straps out wide, which is um, where they are notched on the pattern in the tutorial. And this is the cutest. This is just my style. All in swim fabric, so it dries nice and fast. Love it. And if you like to mix and match your swim fabrics, your tops and your bottoms, which is a very Queensland thing to do, this looks adorable. Now I haven't made this particular top essentially to go in the water. Um, I've used fold over elastic for all my finishes. And as you can see on this one, I've done the adjustable strap. It is fast, it is easy. There are two different options, um, whether you want the ring at the front or at the back. Um, they just have slightly different process, but are very, very similar. And then you can go matchy matchy. So if you're not a dress person, but you want a fake dress, um, you can do two pieces. Add it to your sporty skirt or the heartlight skirt or the symphony skirt, um, depending on what your vibe is. Absolutely loving this little outfit. And you could obviously do the same with pants as well. Use one of our stretch patterns to make either um, the urbans, um, where you can make a tapered, a wide leg or a traditional flare, um, or the palazzo pants, the knit version of that. You could make your little fake jumpsuit as well. And how good does it look again with the free spirit skirt? Just that bright color on top with a great free spirit. Split. Love this part of the free spirit. And it just has that ease. Not too much gathered bulk around here. Nice rayon woven fabric for the skirt. And then just tuck the cami in to give that waist, that fit and flare. And then with a little short heart light. Colour, colour, colour. Really, really sweet. And then of course you can layer anything over the top, any one of our patterns. This is great for layering and the fact that it is nice and fitted, like you saw it underneath the other pieces, means that if you want to tuck it into something on a cold day, then it tucks in and without any extra bulk. Now this one has um, the band at the front. I've done a shelf bra in the same fabric underneath 
and it just has a gentle softness. I have used a self binding. Now in this fabric, it doesn't have a great deal of resilience. It's okay um, when you're cutting a binding. So it does kind of fit looser around my body, but I do kind of like that. Now this one I made out of a Merino Modal blend. Now I made this one specifically so that I could do two things. Number one was tuck it in to have the smoothness around here, but have it sit quite low. And the other one was to layer it and have it sticking out the bottom. Add it with the unwind. See how it adds that extra layer out the bottom? So that maybe your top's not long enough for what you're wearing or you just want that look, then the long version is awesome. Or if your top is shorter, you can put the hip version and still have the same effect. And so you just have those lovely layers. The layer on top is a bit looser. This one is nice and fitted. And then um, I've got them here with the urban wide leg pants, but they also look gorgeous um, with the palazzos with the same effect because the palazzos are so um, are nice and fitted around here. Um, it, this has the same, the same kind of effect. So it's just lovely and casual over the top. But then if you wanted to tuck it in, you still get that relative smoothness went up to the right spot there you still get that relative smoothness underneath and the same goes if you wanted to layer the heart light skirt or a pair of jeans or shorts and we couldn't have one without me going crazy with prints this is double brush poly double brush poly isn't a great choice for the bindings but it is for the straps. So what I did here was I did fold over elastic for the binding. I did the double brush poly because it has elastin on the inside for the strap. I made the strap adjustable with the ring at the front and then it's just sewn into the back and the band across the front with this awesome print placement with the fabulous Vacation Vibes pants. Now, when I saw that Jess was stocking this rib knit, I knew it would make an awesome cami. So normally a rib knit has extra stretch to it, but this is quite a firm cotton lycra. So the, the cami sits beautifully and firm. It's shaped to the body really, really well. Now I've done this one with the one centimeter elastin. Um, and I've cut the strap along the rib, so vertically. You could do it across as well. I found this worked really, really well either way. And I've done it again with the strap running this way through the front, which I thought was a really cool element of the fabric that you could actually do that. Just gorgeously cash fabric, easy to sew with, easy to wear. Um, and I can layer over the top if I want to with the reconnect. Again, just lovely and cash with those, you know, surprising little details or tucked in to your favorite palazzo pants. Layer it with a cropped cardi or with your sporty skirt. This is a thermal fabric from Boo and it is so soft and so warm. Now, whatever your season, the cami is a great layering piece. So whether you have on some denim shorts or denim jeans or your favorite trackies, a cami is awesome for layering. This is cotton lycra. It is quite a firm one. I've used the plain elastic in the straps, so they're nice and strong. I've used the band at the front and then the high back so you could pop a bra underneath if you wanted to or not or you could add the shelf bra depending on where you want to wear it or what you're comfortable with this cami is a cotton lycra it is quite firm a swim fabric for my binding so you can see there 
done the binding and it through the front and the high back. I have done the wide strap with a ring and I've just done one single layer and this is the hip length and I've paired it with the palazzo pants. That looks pretty cute, nice and easy and it also looks great tucked in with the free spirit. Or with the awesome Pleats to meet you packs. So which one is your favourite? From tomorrow you will get to pick new favourites. The testers will start showing you their cami pictures um, and they will tell you what elements they added and also what they used in the strap for their bindings and for their shelf bras if they added them. And then this time our pattern release, which is a double, starts on Sunday and that goes until Thursday morning Australian time so that is Wednesday night US time and of course as it's a new pattern release you will get our usual pattern release discount for those particular days so I can't wait to see which one's your favorite thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the group